Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Rider. We're back with another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Wow, we have uh, four uh, beautiful young girls who want me to join this club, so we're joining this club. Not that I have a choice in the matter. So far, Doki Doki Literature Club has proven to be just kind of a story. It's, it's not really a video game. Uh, it's not even it, it's not even like like a dating sim or anything because you don't have any choices. So unless all this has just been the introduction, but we shall find out one by one. They we've just joined the club and all the girls are happy. Yes, I'm so happy. Sorry, wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came by for a cupcake, I would be super pissed. <laughs> Says Natsuki. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone, I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember, tonight's assignment, write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. DDK, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really express, impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, DDK, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Yuri never, and I never walk home together anymore because she always stays after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! I like her. She's sweet. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Siori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school with a liter in a literature club? Perhaps. Perhaps I have to, I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh, you just use this to prey on the girls? You don't join a club just to get girls. Manipulator. All right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes the poem the most. Okay. Um, what are they doing down here? I gotta pick 20 words. Vanilla. That's a good word. Um... Sweet. Uh, fireflies. Depression. Well, so far it looks like we're getting towards her. Ooh, a journey. Um, where's Monica? Uh, she's not even on here. Um, oops, no, we didn't want that. Oh, unrequited is always a good word. Doki Doki? Using my own name? This girl liked that I used my own name. Oh, I can see who. No, I can't. They're just moving randomly. Um. All right, there we go. There we go. I don't know. Okay, it must be the next day. So we got our poem. It was great. Hi again, DDK. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my. But I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, DDK. I hope it isn't too overwhelming for, for commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me... Sayori told me you didn't even want to join this club. Any club this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her man manga collection in the club room. Mm hmm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! <laughs> it's really not. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops, plops back to her seat. Don't worry, girls. DDK always gives me his best. Gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room... How dependable. 
Ciara, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting, and you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so... <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and DDK can become good friends, too! Mm-hmm. Here's my phone making noise. Siori. Hmm? As usual, Siori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today! Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori. Eh? 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 Huh? Me? No, not really. Don't be shy! It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Siori made it sound like a big deal, but it's really not... Um, uh, what do I do? Huh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means she's up. it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is, as, is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. I, is that so? Yeah, and I, I won't make a big deal about it. I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yori reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. I gotta change her voice. I gave her like this deep voice and I don't like it. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Siori and Monica are having a ch cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Oh, scene change. Man, looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down to the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? So they come to the literature club just to read? I guess I could always read some of the book Gary gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening on in on Siori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to see him some really lame we're probably going to seem really lame compared to the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Huh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to... We can we can do this thing... Wait, what? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sorry, is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her de deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. And in that case, you think food will do the trick? What kind? Ah, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, oh, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to get out, work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Suri is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Siori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help wondering if it would be like it, what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Whoa. What? Uh, I don't know what happened here, but I think we're, we're going to call it quits. I don't know what's going on, so uh, we're going to save the game, and we will talk to you all next time.